Hello everyone, this is Anayat Meer with my Comtia basic class videos. So this will be a video series that will talk about ITF plus which is a basic class from Comtia. So after that you will go for A plus and network plus. So I am posting my information. If you have any questions, you can contact me anytime. But this will be my email and my contact information. We will talk about very, very basics. Also, this will include a little information about domain controllers. So I am going to show you my ITF plus setup. So that setup includes a domain controller. If you have never worked on domain controller, so uh, you will take a look. Uh, very basic information about the domain controller. Uh, that will be a basic information for everyone who are going to start this technology world and going into the CompTIA, C-O-M-P-T-I-A plus ITF plus. So this is my domain controller running a Windows operating system. Uh, from tools, you can go and open up active directory users and computers so this is a console for active directory users and computers where i am going to add couple of users we can add manually or we can use a script so i have decided to use a powershell script to add users so this is a just idea that how we are going to communicate from a client point of view to a server or a domain controller where we control all environment of network environment. So here you can create users and groups. Uh, you can have a group policy. You can manage centrally your whole environments. You could have 100 or you could have 1000 or 100,000 users you can manage. So I created a OU organizational unit uh, ITF users uh, that you can see uh, in that organizational unit I am going to place a few users so instead of adding users manually one by one I have decided to use PowerShell I will share the command from uh, my previous YouTube video uh, that will be a loop command so that will create users from the PowerShell window. So this is my host name ITF-CL1. Uh, this is a client computer that is a member of my uh, ITF uh, domain controller. So comptia-itf.com domain member. So this is the IP address. 172.16.0.50 first three digits must be same for the whole network and the last number should be unique so 50 is a unique number given to this client computer only winver is a command that you type in the command line to look at the operating system I'm going back and forth between my domain controller and a client machine. In domain controller, uh, if you type under command line host name, you will see the host name. So this is a ITF-SVR1 IP address. First three digits are same. The last digit is unique 11. So we have client 50 and server 11 winver shows this is a windows server 2016 operating system which i am using uh, for this demo and this is the domain controller again you can open up your active directory which is already open but you have to open it from tools menu so here you can see my active directory users and computers this is a powershell window which i am going to show you you can launch the powershell window from the start menu or you can also directly launch from the regular powershell window by typing ise so here we are in a 
पावर शेल इन्वायरमेंट विच इज नॉन एज आई एस ई इंटीग्रेटेड स्क्रिप्टिंग इन्वायरमेंट सो आई एम गोइंग टू टाइप ए कमेंड हियर सो यू ऑल्सो कैन गेट अ चेंस टू फॉलो अलॉन्ग विद मी आई कैन कापी एंड पेस्ट एज वेल दैट मे नॉट गिव ये गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ग्रैब एवरीथिंग विदाउट doing a pause and go into the video but this is a learning environment so we are learning so because of that purpose i am going to start this command manually so 1 dot dot 25 means you are going to create 25 users uh in one shot so you will see each user will be a unique user you will see how this works actually so we are using this command for each dash object and we are creating new ad users uh it's not one user these these are number of users so new dash ad user but this will be a loop command so it will create itf user starting from number 1 to number 25 so as you can see itf user dollar ps item now we are going to provide a password also for this user so you have to mention the password right over here in the script users would not be able to see the password unless you provide this password to users so now we want to have this password also uh secure or encrypted so you have to use convert to dash secure string so uh, as as plain text so you will have to mention now the password so you can pick up any random password i would say at least minimum 8 characters alpha numeric combination with a complex uh, word so like a dollar sign or at sign or exclamation sign something like that so randomly i am putting this password uh and then you basically add a force switch so now we can scroll back uh, account uh, i am putting enable because we want to keep it true uh that uh, account should be enabled so if you don't add a password so automatically your account is disabled but you have a ch choice here to make account enabled or disabled at creation time if you have a password available so i scroll back you can view this script uh you can again i said before you can change the number of users so i am going to show you here uh 25 users i am going to scroll right to left and left to right slowly uh so you can copy the command if you want to use it at your own in a test environment so now you can highlight the whole line or click in the line somewhere and hit f8 or execute with the execute button so now it took only few seconds so i do have users available uh if you scroll down you will see that here from ITF user one to ITF user 25 so if you if you basically uh sort these users they are uh present here now 25 users you can actually move these users into itf users in one shot uh you directly can create users under any location you want to but i uh used a default location but now you can see all users have been moved including one of my accounts here this is enayat my login account that account has also been moved into itf users folder uh, i would not say folder or you organizational unit now we can test one of these users to log in if we want but we have 25 users available uh, if i have one member of this domain or if i have 10 members of this domain or if i have 100 or 1000 members of this domain so this domain is available now for all these 25 users they can use 
any computer from the network any client computers or any server computer uh, which is a member of this domain comp tia-itf.com so by default users are allowed to log in from the network from any location to this domain the condition is only that you have to be a member of this domain so i do have couple of members but one of them which is a client machine windows 10 client machine uh, you can pick any user from here uh, i know the password and you saw the password in my script if you want to send this password to a user you have to simply send an email to user and send the password so this is the property of users you can use other options of the users if you want a user to change the password you can check this box what that means that when user logs in first time uh, with a given password what you can provide this password to user user must need to change the password and this is a good and best practice for IT environment because you don't want someone's password and you don't want to basically keep someone's password but you have to give them a, a, an opportunity to change the password uh, that is a good and best practice and recommended uh, because of some privacy issues so now i am going to use my client machine to log in as an other user so i will use my client user but password which i assigned uh, needs to be changed so i'm going to change this password now so i change on the back end previous password i added i changed the password now password has been changed now you can sign in so whatever password you have initially for any user you create in active directory that password must be delivered to the user who is going to log in so now when you log in first time from a client machine you will see these messages uh, once you done then you can go back so i'm going back to my server here now i'm showing you my domain and by going into uh, the context menu you can add a user manually so xyz user and you can provide a password i have a built-in actually saved password to this vm environment here you can change options as you like i used here password never expires then i can choose the password and i can uh, uh oh uh, this is not matching so password has to match so i am going to change again carefully is just a copy and paste which i did now we have another uh, this user basically uh, another user a new user xyz xyz user has now a new account in this domain we can go and log in from the client machine to this user or we can log in to any other users one of those 25 users we have tested only uh, we have tested first user uh, which was created uh, using a PowerShell. Now, uh, you can check that who is logged in, ITF user. The command is who am I. So, who am I will tell you uh, how you logged into this computer. If you want to log off, you simply type log off. You will be logged off. Uh, or you can go to start menu and you can log off from the start menu. Uh, other commands which I mentioned here, uh, you can use to test uh, computer name or IP address going back into my domain controller. So this is my comptia-itf.com domain. Under computers, currently I joined only one client to this machine. So whenever you want to see who is your domain member, this is a test environment this is only uh, showing you one domain member in real life you will see hundreds or thousands of members in uh, this location under computers 
so you, you will go through with my other videos as well this is just a beginning is especially for those users you are who are going to start a plus class or network plus or security plus this is a basic class or basic requirement for those users so to understand the environment whoever logs into uh, any domain uh, should have a client computer could be a la laptop computer given by your company uh, but get the concept, get the idea, you work for a company, your company name is citibank.com, chasebank.com, amazon.com, comtia.com or, uh, or I would say xyz.com. So your account is under the domain. So once you have account, you can log in under ITF. I put 25 users uh, plus my own account and this is just an overview you could see again one more time i'm going to back up so keep watching i will set up some multi video series starting from scratch so you can have a good knowledge of information technology so grab your videos watch your videos and i will come back to you uh, with other videos thank you bye